just in how the, how the truth extends God's personality. Uh, Psalm 115, verse number one, the Bible reads, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. So God's name is tied in with his, with his truth, with him being true. And in Psalm 119, verse 142, of course, Psalm 119 is all about God's law. It's about the law of the Lord. Just every single verse is referring to the testimonies of God, the commandments of God, the statutes of God, the law of God. Psalm 119, verse 142 says, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. It's the truth. There, you're going to find no lies in here. There's nothing bad. There's nothing deceitful. There's nothing wrong with the law of God. And again, we live in a culture and a society in a dark, wicked place where people want to look at the law of God and judge God's law as if there are parts that are just, oh, that's, that's despicable. Oh, that's not right. Oh, how could you do that? It's truth. It's right. Truth is an important value. In Proverbs 23, 23, the Bible reads, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. We ought to have a high regard and a high value and treat truth as being precious so much that we're willing to spend for it. We're willing to buy just to, to get the truth, to obtain the truth. We'll, we'll do whatever it takes. Okay, if, we need, if I need to spend some money on this or, get, or, or make some sacrifices to, to obtain the truth, to get the truth, then I'm going to do it. But then it says, and sell it not. Because you love the truth, I'll go through whatever I need to in order to get it, but I'm going to share it freely. I'm going to give it away for free. Any truth that I come across, I may have to spend money and time and investment and studying and trying to find out the truth, but as soon as I know it, man, I'm going to give it away for free. And that's how God wants the truth being propagated. Hold it in high regard, high value. Don't just ignore it and brush it aside. And oh man, you know, kids, it's, it's Bible time. Look, value the Bible time. You're getting a dose of truth. I don't know what's like in your family. My family, we read the Bible to our kids every day. Every single day we sit them down and they have to listen to the Bible. And I understand not all kids uh, just enjoy it, but we as parents need to teach them and instruct them and just help them along and let them know this is the truth. You're not going to find this pure truth out in the world. It's not there. This, just listen up and let these words sink in. Even if you don't completely understand them all right now, receive the truth from God's word. It will help you. It's designed to help you. We don't, we don't gather you up to torture you for this show. It's not, this isn't a pleasure that parents get of torturing children by just making them listen to the Bible. No, it's good for you. And we shouldn't ever look on it that way either as, as um, drudgery of, of Bible time. You know, parents, make, make it fun for your kids. Do some, fathers, do some teaching when you read the Bible. Make it interesting. Make sure they're understanding what they're hearing. Buy the truth, sell it not. 